Good morning, my dear students. I hope you all are fine and good at home, my dear. This is the uh, this uh, time I am going to again explain you the word problems and their statements. We have already discussed this word problems and statement in the last two videos, in which I have explained you that how to write the statement, how to read the word problems, and then we can find uh, form the statement. how to arrange the numbers properly and then we can add it all the things whatever i have explained you in the last two videos i hope you all have got that you have seen that and you with the help of that you have done that also done all the things okay now we are going to move ahead today also with the examples i am going to discuss i am going to tell you how to write the statement same thing is there my dear it's not like that today uh, something new will going to come out same kind of thing is there only how to read the state question then how to form the statement it's very very necessary okay because in statement you will get the marks if the statement is correct you will get full marks if statement will be wrong you will get half marks or maybe lesser marks so i don't think that anyone want to get uh, lesser marks so please do practice statement as much as you can okay so again addition word problem this i am going to discuss with you see a shopkeeper sold 31 lakh 29305 chocolates total on monday and 17000 9900 8 Sorry, seventeen lakh ninety nine thousand eight hundred and fifty six chocolate on Tuesday means two days are given, my dear. One is given Monday, another is given Tuesday. Two days are there, and this is the total number of chocolate which is being produced by these two on these two day by a shopkeeper, or which is being sold. Sold means which is being sold out on these two days. How many total chocolate did he sell? So you will write here. chocolate sold on monday chocolate sold on tuesday after that you will arrange the numbers which is given here and then you will add then how you will add you will add from the right to the left from the ones place here the place value is not written but it should be written or when you are doing in the it this thing copy and you have to write one number in one square box okay this kind of copy then one number in one square box 5 plus 6 is 11 you write 11 down when you will take carry 5 plus 0 is 5 plus 1 is 6 you will write 6 down 8 plus 3 is 11 you will write 1 down and when you will take carry now 9 plus 9 is 18 plus 1 is 19 you write 9 down and when you will take carry 2 plus 9 is 11 plus 1 is 12 so you write 2 down when you will take carry 1 plus 7 is 8 plus 1 is 9 you write 9 down nothing is nothing is carry because if two numbers are there na then we used to write the second down first we used to take carry if only one number is there we used to write it as it is 3 plus 1 will be 4 so we will get 49 lakh 29161 okay this is the total we have got so you will write the last statement Total number of chocolate sold that is forty nine thousand two hundred. Sorry, forty nine lakh two twenty nine thousand one hundred sixty one. The two the shopkeeper sold this much chocolate in both the days or in all. Okay. The next one you can see addition. Whenever you are getting in question total in all or all together, you please. uh remember that when these kind of words terms are given these are the keywords of addition if these kind of words you are getting in addition it means you have to add if if you are reading the statement and you are seeing that total in all or all together this kind of words are written there in the question it means you have to add the things you have to add the things let's go on let's read this question mohan bought a table for rupees Twelve thousand four hundred and fifty, and a chair for rupees five thousand four hundred. Find the total. The keyword is given. That is total. 
money spent by him in buying two items so you will write the statement here because the number of tables are not given now number of chair cost of table and chair is given so you will write cost of table that is 12450 cost of chair that is 5400 you will arrange it in column you can see how it is being arranged upside i have written the place value also one stands hundred thousand and ten thousand i will add from one's place zero plus zero will be zero five plus zero will be five four plus four will be eight five plus two will be seven and one plus nothing is there though which is also zero so it will be one so the total money spent by him in buying two item is seventeen thousand eight hundred and fifty the total amount which mohan has spent in buying the chair and the table is seventeen thousand eight hundred and fifty that we have got by adding both the number though both the cost that is cost of table as well as the cost of chair in the same way this question also being done you can see what it is written it is written rahul bought a laptop for rupees 1,500 video game for rupees 5,600 and a furniture for rupees 72,500 how much did he spend in all it's very easy upside you will write the place value which is not mentioned here but you will write my dear okay like one stands upside you will mention one stands hundred like this you will mention then you will write cost of laptop cost of video game cost of furniture after that you will add all the three which you have arranged in column already zero plus zero plus zero will be zero zero plus zero plus zero will be zero five plus five is ten five plus five is ten plus six is sixteen you will write 16 here because 16 is a two digit 6 will be written down 1 will be taken carry which is written upside 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 1 is 10 you write 0 down and 1 again carry 7 plus 0 is 7 plus 1 is 8 which is written here and here 1 plus nothing is given in these two so 1 so what is the total amount which he spent in all so you will write total amount spent in all is rupees uh, 80 lakh 6 uh, 1 lakh 80600 1 lakh 80600 total amount which he, he has spent rahul has spent in buying laptop video game and the furniture as well okay so it all depends on the question and according to that only we used to write the statement if the price of something is given we used to use the word cost amount or the price when the number is given we used to use number quantity when it is given uh, the weight we use can you we used to use weight also weight of rice weight of uh, uh, pulses or anything like this weight of vegetables that kind of question i we have not discussed till now but we used to use different kinds of words according to the statement for all the um uh, what is that it is question for all the word problem we don't used to use the same kind of statement okay it used to differ according to the question now you can see mr hashmi bought a plot of land that is rupees one lakh thirty five thousand four hundred and sixty six he built a house on it okay he has bought a land plot of land and then he built a house on it of two lakh eighty six thousand five hundred and sixty six now he bought furniture and other things for house that is seventy five thousand five hundred and 80 total amount which he spent it is written all okay it is written in all so you will write here amount spent on the plot of land here the word amount is used okay amount spent because cost is not given no? price of spend. it is given amount which he is paying for the plot of land or the furniture or for making the house amount spent on the plot of land that is one lakh 35,466 which I have written here amount spent on in the building the house on that plot that is 2,85,000 uh, 86,566 
amount to spend on furniture and other things that is 75,580. Now you will add from the right side. Okay, so 6 plus 6 is 12. So only 2 will be written down and 1 will be taken carry. 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 8 is 20. Plus 1 is 21. You will write 1 again. Now 5 plus 5 is 10. Plus 1 is plus uh, 4 is 14. And plus 1 is 15. Okay. So we will write what? Uh, yes, sorry, sorry. This one I have not added now here. 6 plus 6 I have added but 8 is also enough. 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 8 when you will add in that you will get 21. So 1 will be written down and 2 will be taken carry here. Now 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 4 is 14 plus 2 is 16. 6 will be written down, 1 will be taken carry. Now Again, 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 6 is 16, plus 1 is 17. So, only 7 will be written down. 1 will be taken carry. 8 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 7 is 19, plus 1. Sorry. 12 plus 7 is 18. Mm. Sorry, sorry. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. I was adding 3, 8 plus 3 as 12, but it is 11, my dear. So it will be 19. Only 9 you write down on one take carry. 2 plus 1 is 3, and plus 1 is 4. So the answer you will get 4,97,612. Okay. So in the last, you will write total amount spent in all or the total amount spent that is enough so like this we used to write different statements for different kind of questions according to the question which is given so that's all my dear i hope you all have understood whatever i have explained and whatever i have uh, taught today in the class go through it thoroughly so that you can understand please don't skip okay otherwise it will be difficult for you to write the statement in the examination and i will cut the marks if the statement is not correct so it's very important that how to write the statement correct statement it's very important so go through it watch it nicely and uh, try to practice as much as you can the same kind of questions and with the statement okay that is all thank you everyone